Okay, it looks like I'm just going to go right ahead into this one. We want the amount of this that remains. Okay. I'm pretty sure. So this is 23D, mass of excess reactant that remains after the reaction is complete. Uh, let me do this. Edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, so what we're going to change is the stuff down here, actually. Now, what I would start with, there are different ways you could do this. There's, we could use the amount of this we needed from back here. Actually, we could use our limit, limiting to figure out what it is we used and then did it. But the most intuitive way that students are probably going to do is look at the product and say, okay, the product was made using how much of this? 90 some grams maybe. And then subtract it from 100. So let's go through that step. So I think we had 70 grams, right? So we now know that this is 70 grams produced. So let's use that to find out this time equals X grams sodium consumed. Now that doesn't get us the answer. That the answer is how much left over. But if we start with 100 and we figure out how much is left over, all we gotta do is subtract those and the rest is excess. That's easy. Students have a really hard time. How do you find that? This is easy. Don't let that easy step throw you off. Okay, and then down at the bottom. Whoops. Well, let's do this. Let me, let me say we have the amount of grams we have subtract what's consumed and the rest is remaining. We'll get to that in a little bit. In the meantime, this is X equals blank grams in a consumed. That number will go here. Okay. If I can, I'm going to move this up a smidge so it's where I want it. Okay. So we're going to start with, this time, 70 grams Fe produced. Over one. And we're going to go mass to moles to moles to mass. This guy again. So, but this is playing the role of A, and this is playing the role of B. Let that sink in. Your product is playing the role of A this time, and what we're looking for to figure out how much of this we used up, that's playing the role of B. So we go moles of A, or grams of A, to moles of A. So it should be moles, Fe, then moles of A, Moles in A, grams of A, so grams in A. Okay, then this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Grams Fe, moles in A, right here, moles Fe. From the periodic table, here, here, in purple, I'm going to switch to purple. A mole of iron was 55.8 grams. A mole of sodium is 23 grams. Those numbers will remain one for the moles because it's off the periodic table. Everything on the periodic table is per A mole. The, super, the coefficients come from here. Don't try any fancy pants things like 
six and two, try reducing that to three and one. No, just that's an extra step. If you pay an extra step, you've got a chance of, of, a, of an error. Okay, so multiply the tops. Okay, 70 times six should be 420 times 23. Okay, then I'm gonna divide by 55.8 equals, and I'm also going to divide by 2. Why don't you multiply this? Well, if you multiply the tops, write it down, and then multiply the bottoms, and then write it down, and then divide. And that's the way I would suggest you do it. I didn't want to have to take the extra step. Okay, it just comes out to 86.6 .6 grams is what I get. Consumed. Right here. Now, if I consumed 86.6 .6 grams of sodium and I started with 100, then I should be left with 13.4 remaining excess. How do you know that? But the excess, this is remaining, that's it. Oh, come on. This is your excess. Think it through, pay attention. You can do this. It's not that hard. Um, that's about what I have. The answer is 13.6, but I have 13. This is how it's done. I'm going to go on to the next one. Hey, these will speed up a little bit. Don't worry about it being too slow on this one.